Hey you guys, how is everybody doing today? So I wanted to jump on here and um, just talk about some things that have changed my life and share those with you. Uh, yesterday I put up a post, it was kind of long, um, so I'm not sure how many people saw it, but I put up a post just talking about the importance of not waiting until tomorrow. And so I wanted to jump on here and talk about um, how I have put that into effect in my life. Um, it is so, so important, you guys, to um, go after the things that bring you joy in life and to do things that make you happy and to not put them off until tomorrow because we never know when our last day is going to be. So um, I'm not going to get too far into that. If you guys want to go back and check out my post from yesterday, you can read my big, big long thing. Um, but I do want to talk a little bit about 10 things that I did that um, I wasn't doing previously. Hello, Ray. Uh, that completely changed my life. And I'm hoping that by sharing this information with you guys, maybe it could give you some ideas on how you can take action to change your life and be a little bit more happy. And so um, so the first thing that I did was I changed my mindset. You guys, this is like the number one most important thing that you could possibly do. Um, when you are stuck in a negative pattern of thought, everything in life is energy. So what you are thinking about is what you attract to yourself. And if you guys have not heard of the law of attraction um, or the movie The Secret, I would highly recommend doing some research on that because that definitely is the, the going back to 10 years ago, um, one of the huge things that changed my life and, and changed my way of thinking. And it had never really occurred to me before that my thoughts were attracting things into my life that I didn't want. So the very first thing that I did um, after seeing the movie The Secret uh, is I stopped um, thinking negative thoughts, or I tried. I mean, we're human. Everybody has a bad day. Everybody uh, has bad stuff happen to them in life. It's natural. But when that happens, um, catching your thoughts and trying to, trying to find something positive in whatever's going on can make all the difference in the world on how you react to a situation and the things that um, happen to you in the future. So number one, biggest thing that I did that changed my life was I stopped being negative about things that were not making me happy and I started focusing on positive things. Um, and there's always a positive even in every negative situation. So I am going to use finances as an example of that. So um, in my life, you guys, I grew up uh, when I was little in poverty. I grew up with very little money. Um, my mom was a single mom. I was the only child and we grew up on food stamps. Uh, my mom, you know, worked, but we didn't have a lot of money. And so I grew up in that, in that poverty mindset. And so that is something that has affected me in a lot of different ways that I didn't even realize was affecting me my entire life. And when I started to change my thoughts and my feelings around money, my entire life started to change. And instead of thinking, oh man, I never have enough, or oh my gosh, you know, I've paid all my bills and now I don't have anything left over for two weeks until I get paid again, I started to flip it around and say, you know what, I am so thankful that I was able to pay all my bills. And um, it's when you shift your mind like that and you start to think about things in a different way that your life really changes. So that is the number one thing that I have done that has changed my life is stop thinking in a negative manner. And in every negative thought that pops in your mind, how can you flip it into a positive? So, um, you know, I'm thankful that I have 
enough money to be able to pay my bills. And maybe I can't pay all of my bills this time right on time, but I could pay majority of them. So um, that's just an example, but you guys kind of see what I'm saying. Just find, find a positive even when you're not feeling so positive. So um, that's number one. Number two, I stopped blaming other people for my unhappiness. So I was super guilty of this and I see a lot of people still doing this. If your mindset is stuck in a negative pattern and you're not happy in your life, it's really, really easy to start blaming other people for that. Well, he did this or she did that or you know, work is sucks or my boss is being so hard on me or my kids aren't listening to me, um, blah, blah, blah. So the, the reality of the situation is that it is not up to anybody else but you to make your own happiness. And when I started thinking about things in a different way, um, I realized that for a really, really long time, I was giving up my power to other people. I mean, that's what you're doing. When you say that because this person is uh, a jerk today and um, you know things aren't going right at work or whatever, you're literally giving up your power to that person. It's it's you're saying you control how I feel and because you're doing this um, that affects me and so when I when I flipped that way of thinking and I really sat down and took a look at my part in things that changed my life as well so maybe your boss is being a jerk and you know what you can't control what other people do but when I stopped taking things personally and started looking at it in a way of, you know what, that person's just having a really rough time and I don't know what's going on in their life, but that's not on me. Um, pretty soon, it didn't affect me anymore. So stop giving other people power over your life to make you happy. There are always gonna be situations that you cannot control. There are always gonna be things that happen that um, are difficult to deal with, but it's how you choose to let those things affect you. Um, that's where your power is. And so just know that you can take your power back at any time. Um, you can choose to let your boss and his behavior negatively affect you, or you can choose to just brush it off and say, you know what? His issues are not my thing. I'm doing a good job. I know that I am a good employee. And I'm going to choose to believe that he's having a bad day today. And I'm just going to keep moving forward towards my goals. So uh, that is number two. <laughs> and um, number three, I started doing things that brought me joy in my life. And this was a hard one for me, you guys, because um, as a mom and as a wife and as a, a business owner and an employee and um, you know all the different categories of things that I fall into, it, sometimes it's so easy to get caught up in your daily life that you forget what even what even brings you joy. You forget what brings you joy, and we change as people. So. What made me happy or what I enjoyed doing 10 years ago, going out on the weekends with my friends, hanging out, you know, having some drinks. Well, I still like to do that, but <laughs> uh, not in the same way. So sometimes you need to reevaluate and try new things and, and really see what is it that brings me joy. So for me, um, I was in a place where I just kind of was going through the motions of life every single day, you know, mom responsibilities and business. And uh, we've got a little mini zoo here with horses and dogs and cats and just a lot of responsibility. And so what was happening was I was putting myself last in all of that, making sure that everybody else was taken care of before myself. And in the process of that, um, I stopped having fun. Somewhere along the line, I stopped having fun and I wasn't doing things that brought me joy. And so, again, if you guys saw my post from yesterday, 
um, there was something that happened in my life and it just kind of triggered this reality of we don't ever know when our last day is going to be. And so I made a very conscious decision to start uh, trying to figure out what is it that brings me joy. And so um, I sat down with a pen and paper and I made a list of things that I used to like to do that maybe I would like to do, goals that I've had. One of the big one was traveling. Um, I'd always wanted to travel. Growing up, I, I mentioned we didn't have a lot of money, and so we never got to go on vacations when I was little. We didn't get to go explore and, and do fun things like a lot of my friends were doing, and so that was always something that was a long-term goal for me. I wanted to go travel and explore. And I had the realization, what the heck am I waiting for? Like, um, this amazing person that I know just suddenly passed away and they spent their life dedicated to other people and they were gone just like that. And so it was just this wake up call for me. What am I waiting for? It's never gonna be the right time. Um, we may not always have the right financial uh, funds to be able to do things that we want to do. The kids, you know, always have something going on. We have horses that require and animals that require attention. So here's the thing, you guys, if, if you want to, um, if you want to be happy in life, don't wait until tomorrow. You have to go out and make it happen. Get creative, find solutions and figure out what brings you joy. So for me, I love to travel, and so uh, when opportunities present themselves, I say yes, uh, if it's something that I want to do, of course, but um, last year, I went on one of the trips of a lifetime to Thailand, and I spent some time with elephants and just some the most amazing people in Thailand, and then we went to Bali, and I was so blessed to be able to do that, but here's the reality, you guys. Um, I didn't know how the heck I was going to pay for it. So a friend comes to me and she says, hey, I'm going to Thailand. Do you want to go? And I'm like, yeah, I do. And so um, I decided that no matter what it took, I was going to find a way to make it happen. And money was tight. We didn't have extra, you know, just lying around for me to take a trip to Thailand and Bali. But I figured out a way to make it happen because it meant something to me and it was important. And so if something is important to you, if something's going to bring you joy and happiness, get creative, find a way to do it. Um, it's never going to be the right time. There's always going to be something that pops up. The kids get sick. The Well, of course, if the kids get sick, you got to stay with them. But, um, you know, bills and, and things, there's always life. Life happens. But... If you spend every every day um, so focused on responsibilities, you're going to miss out on so much joy. And that was such a beautiful experience to be with the elephants and meet all those amazing people and walk through the jungle uh, and, and just live life, try new foods, all these different things. It just, it brought me so much joy. And so um, that would be the next thing is just... Do the things that you love to do. And if you're not sure what those things are, try a bunch of different things until you figure it out. Like Just because you used to like something um, back when you were younger doesn't mean that you like it now, and that's okay. So um, the next thing is that I started taking action to make the things happen that I wanted to make happen. And so one of the big things for me was my health. Um, and... That I'm going to talk a little bit more about in another another video, but for, for many years, um, my health has been an issue. I have battled with hormone imbalances and all the things that come along with that. Um, it made me really tired. I couldn't finish thoughts. Um, it was really a struggle and it was really affecting my life. And for many years, um, I was kind of just trusting traditional doctors and, and things that people say to be the the truth and what it was. And I wasn't finding relief or solutions. And so I decided that I was going to take my life into my own hands and stop 
listening to everybody else and their opinions on, on what was right and wrong and try to find something that worked for me. So um, that meant a lot of education. That l meant a lot of researching and that that meant um, doing what I felt was best for me. And so in the process of all of that, I was able to literally change my life as far as health goes. And um, I had been using the excuse for a really long time. Well, I don't have, I don't have the finances to do this, uh, you know, this treatment or to try this or to try that. And when I started making myself a priority, when I started loving myself enough to say, you know what, my health is a priority. This is affecting my entire life. It changed my whole life. So um, that would be the next thing is love yourself enough to do things that bring you happiness, to uh, change your health, um, take advantage of opportunities when they're presented to you, even if it might be out of the norm or something that is a little bit new to you, do your research and, um, you know, learn. So, uh, I don't even know what number I'm on, <laughs> but <laughs> I, I'm probably on like six or seven by now. Um, that leads me into with the education and the learning. It, it leads me into working on your mind. Um, that is another thing that I did that completely changed my life. So when I started thinking about things in a different way, like I said, when I started seeing the positive in things and stopped blaming other people for my unhappiness, um, I had a shift. And so, uh, to me, it was about making me better. It was about what can I do to change my situation? And so I started reading books and I started listening to audiobooks and just um, taking in as much knowledge as I possibly could to make myself better. And when you make yourself better and when you when you go within and you really uh, start do some soul searching, that's the best thing that you can do not only for yourself but for other people as well. So I worked on my mind um, and then along with the help the health situation, I started um, working on my body. So um, I started eating healthier. I haven't really posted much about this, but um, you guys, I have tried like every single freaking diet known to man, um, way of eating known to man. I've eaten paleo. I've done the keto. I've done pretty much you name it. I've tried it um, in hopes to balance out my body, make myself feel better. And um, the thing that I found works best for me is eating plant-based, um, eating whole foods, uh, getting rid of the processed crap, trying to cut down on the alcohol. All those, all those little things made such a huge difference in my life. And um, it made me feel better and it naturally improved my health. So that would be another tip that I have is eat better, um, take care of yourself, uh, put things in your body that are gonna uh, make you feel good instead of make you feel bad. So um, the next thing is I started taking action. Um, if I wanted to do something and I decided to do it, I was gonna find a way or die trying. And so one of the things that I decided to do about a year ago was to take advantage of an opportunity that was presented to me um, and start a business um, selling CBD oil. And so that to me was a decision that has not only changed my life, but has changed the life of my animals, my friends, people around me. And it has not always been easy, um, but I'm not giving up. And it's been life-changing. It's been life-changing for me and people I love. So uh, that decision was another um, big one, is that when an opportunity was presented to me, I decided I was just, if it made sense and it resonated with me, um, I was going to say yes. And so taking advantage of opportunities when they come to you, um, such a huge life-changing thing, you guys. So... Um, the other thing is 
just uh, kind of goes along with changing your mindset, but accepting people for who they are and where they are on their, on their journey. And this is a lesson that um, sometimes I still struggle with. Like I said, we're all human and nobody's perfect, but I think when we can take a look at somebody and love them for who they are and where they are on their journey in life. Not everybody is going to think the same way as you. Not everybody has had the same experience as you. And so if you can look at that person and just love them for who they are and where they are and support them in their journey and not try to convince them that they need to uh, do what you think is right or um, convince them that what they're doing is wrong. Um, that really, really made a difference in my life. And so um, we're all in different places. We're all in different places in our uh, spiritual journeys. We're all in different places in um, our, our family journeys, everything. And so just accepting and loving people and having compassion for where they are, even if you don't agree with them, or if you don't uh, see things the way that they do, or they don't see the way things that things that you do, um, that has made a huge difference for me as well. And so that leads me to the next one. Um, I started working on my spirituality. So that's really, really important to me. And spirituality can mean something different to you than it does for me. Um, but things that I started doing was just... Uh, meditating more, um, you know, really trying to connect to my spiritual side, learn as much as I could learn, keep my mind open. Um, I love, there's a, a subscription that I have to Gaia.com. Um, and there's like, it's like basically like any possible thing that you could want to learn about when it comes to spirituality, they have that on there. So if you don't, don't know what that is, check it out, but it's pretty cool. Um, and just, really being open to possibility, um, watching my mindset, but that spirituality aspect of it, I started doing yoga, um, which ties in with the body and taking better care of myself. And, um, it's just, it's made such a difference in my life and how I look at things and how I feel. I'm not as stressed as I used to be. I'm a lot more calm. I can take uh, a, a look at, like I said, other people in different ways, um, and not be judgmental and just be accepting and compassionate. So, um, when you work on your spiritual side, whatever that means to you, if it's going to church or, um, you know, whatever, uh, that can make such a difference in your life as well. Um, so the last thing that I want to talk about is surrounding yourself with positive people. So you can do all of these things. You can, um, you know, work on your spirituality and, and, uh, you know, take advantage of opportunities and this and that. But if you have negative people around you who are bringing you down or, um, just always, you know, in that negative mindset, they're always complaining about something. Things are always going wrong for them. Uh, what do you think is going to the energy that they're giving off. Um, you can, you can only help somebody if they want to be helped. And that's the reality. And that's something that I have also had to accept is that, um, you can try to be there for people and you can try to help them. But the bottom line is that it, it's all up to us to make changes in our own lives. And if there's negative people around you who are just constantly complaining and having bad things happen to them and, um, that, that's just their way of being, and that's not going to be a positive influence on you. So if you want to be successful, if you want to, um, smile and laugh, if you want to, um, you know, accomplish your goals, what you set out to do, then you need to surround yourself with people who are in that same mindset. Um, people who are determined, people who are willing to share their experiences, people who lift you up instead of tear you down and, and um, you know, talk behind your back or say what you're doing isn't a good idea. You, you need to surround yourself with successful people if you want to be successful. You want to surround yourself with happy people if you want to be happy. And 
sometimes this is a tough one because a lot of negative people um, can be in your family. And so how do you disconnect from your family? Well, you love them for the journey that they are on and you accept where they are in life. And you also accept the fact that that's their journey and that you can't fix it and they can't, you can't make them be somebody that you want them to be. Um, they have to get there by themselves. And so if they're not at that point, create distance, you know, um, just put some distance between you and that person and know that you love them and um, make sure that they know that, but put distance between. So, and, and spend time with the people that bring you up, spend time with people that make you feel good and um, help you try to get to where you're going. So anyway, um, those are some things that have changed my life. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And I just wanted to jump on here quick and share some of those things with you. And um, if you guys have any tips for me of things that you've done, <laughs> my dog's in the background. Look, I'm going to show you. Okay. <laughs> so here's another thing. My my animals bring my joy, you guys. So surround, oh, surrounding myself with my animals. This is Grace. Hi. Hey, Kakira. Um, that brings me joy. And so um, just surround yourself with things that make you happy and change your mindset, and that will really improve your life. So if you guys have some tips for me or anything that I said resonated with you, Share it in the comments and, and show me some love in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a little heart. Just something to let me know that um, you saw my face today and you're having a good day. And um, I want to just leave you guys with a quick quote. Um, you guys can have anything that you want if you're willing to give up the belief that you cannot have it. And um, it all starts with your mind. So all of these things that I mentioned today, it all starts with your belief system. If you believe that you can accomplish something, then you will. Um, if you work for it, you'll get it. If you believe that you're going to be happy and that no matter what life throws at you, you will get through it, you'll get through it. So um, hope you guys are having an awesome day. I will talk to you soon and take care.